Listen, I've never been inside a Walmart, but I heard they have great prices, but I had no idea that they were this good. Free kitchens! Free ki- What? Kitchens? You know what, let me back up for a second, because these people could very well be the owners of a very successful construction company, so successful to the point where they could just give away free kitchens, but judging by the, I don't know, cage of fucking cats, I think it's safe to assume that they just can't spell. Do you know how easy it is to give away free shit and you can't even do that correctly? And why the hell do you have like five cats just crammed into this cage? This is exactly what they show on those commercials about abused animals. Fucking Sarah McLaughlin's gonna come flying out of nowhere looking in the camera like for just 10 cents a day you can save these poor cats from these fucking idiots. Jesus, we're not even in the store yet and this is going off the rails. Uh, no wonder we're not in the store. There's a fucking fire in aisle seven. How does this even happen? And how about the guy who took this picture? He's in a store, sees a giant fire, and his first reaction is, Twitter's gonna love this shit. And if that's your first reaction, then I'm assuming your second reaction is, just walking away and not telling anyone and just putting a filter over it, posting it to Instagram and laughing. Well, isn't this nice? Don't you hate it when you go to Walmart and you buy all this stuff and instead of ringing your stuff up, your cashier's on the phone, wrist deep in his fucking ass? His hand is deep, okay? He's not itching anything, like, external. He's inside. Like, your hand's really far in your pants. You're itching your colon, like the inside of your head. Like, that's what you're doing. I don't think this is the time or place, you know, I don't know if he's doing like an emergency prostate check or something like that, but this just isn't the time to do this, buddy. Oh my, it better be Halloween or some shit. This woman is wearing a wedding dress and a veil and everything, like she just got off the altar. Who the hell gets married and on their way out of the church, they go, oh, oh. I forgot to get bologna. That's what I forgot. I for yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta go to Walmart. I gotta get bologna. And if this isn't her wedding day, then what the hell are you wearing this for? Like, what is, what is it, laundry day? And the only thing you have is your wedding dress? Like, like, this will have to do. And you put on your wedding dress to go buy Crisco or some shit? Please stop drying your dicks. All right, that's when you know it's a problem. When uh, someone's gotta put a thing on the hand dryer so people stop sticking their dicks in there. Who's Give it, who's doing a nice cock wash in the middle of shopping? Who's walking around and then all of a sudden they're like, you know what, I just don't, I'm not confident in the, my, like my hygiene. And they just go in, they start washing, and then they're dipping their dick in the hand washer. What is going on? Oh, look at this mess. I mean, really, did you even try to put that shirt on? Did you even try to put it on? It looks like she was drunk and then fell into the shower curtain and it just like fell on her and then she was like, cool, that's it, okay, let's go. I'm going to Walmart, I gotta get some clothes. There's just no effort here. <laughs> D minus, D minus on the effort. Oh, what the hell is this? What is this guy doing? You're in Walmart buying laundry detergent. This isn't a Calvin Klein shoot. And what the hell is sexy about laundry? Just buy your detergent and keep your dick in your shorts. Those are the rules. Just buy your detergent and then get the fuck out. Easy there, space cowboy. I don't even have any of the jokes about this guy. I just, I just wanted to say that. He, I respect it almost. What in God's good name? What is that? Listen, I'll be honest. From far away, I thought this was an animal. It looks like a sloth giving itself a handshake, but like out here. Like it looks like a sloth just doing this. Doesn't it? What the flying fuck is this? It's a good thing the guy who took this picture was standing in the middle of a bathroom stall so that he could conveniently turn around and vomit into the toilet. How do you let that happen to your foot? This looks like the worst case of athlete's foot I've ever seen. This is the most athletic foot I've ever seen. All jokes aside, this, this foot looks like it belongs to a dead person. Am I crazy? It looks like a, like it belongs to a dead guy. If you dug up a dead body and then checked out its feet, I, this is exactly what I think they would look like. But this foot looks like it died before Jesus. All right, before I throw up all over the place, that is all for this week's video. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my podcast called The Basement Yard. It comes out every Monday on iTunes and SoundCloud. And go check out my other channel, youtube.com slash extrajoevideos. And I'll see you guys next week. <gasps> Bye!